In this section, we'll be using a new Python file, resize.py. Again, you'll need to import the image class from the pillow library, and we'll create a new image object. Once we have an image opened, we can choose to resize the image with the resize method. Now, the interesting thing about resizing an image is that there really aren't any restrictions in place regarding how we resize it. To give you an example, let's start by grabbing the dimensions of our original image, which in this case are 1920 by 1080. This is commonly referred to as 1080p. If I feed my resize method with a size of 400 by 400, intuitively, we know this won't really work very well since my initial dimensions had a 16 by 9 ratio, and we've asked for a square in return. Let's give it a try. We can create a new variable, new size, for the resized object, and we can pass in the dimensions. And for debugging purposes, let's show the image on the screen. When our code runs, it does exactly as it was told, and produces a smushed copy of the image, which we could then save if we wanted to. How about an example where we want to retain the same dimension ratio? So while we started with 1080p, we want to downsize to a 720p image. In this case, the 1080 and the 720 pixels refer to the height of the image. Let's create a variable, new height, and set it equal to 720. Let's create a second variable, new width, and we can calculate the variable by keeping a consistent ratio. We'll take the new height divided by the original height, or im.height, and multiply that by the original width. Let's print the answer, which shows us that the new width should be 1280. In this example, we explicitly define the new height, but we could also ask the user for that information if we wanted to create a command line application like we did in the last section of the course. Let's pass our new width and new height dimensions into the resize method. When we run the code, we get a type error, integer argument expected got float. If you recall, the new width variable printed as 1280.0, which is a float, and the resize method requires an integer. So we can quickly fix this by converting the float to an int. Now we can successfully run our code. One more thing to remember is that it's rarely ever a good idea to resize the image to be larger than the original image. The resize method allows you to do this, but will return a pixelated image.